Welcome to Best Fit TV. Join us here every week for a show full of good stuff like... Our transformation which follows a working mum, drop a dress size and our health stories full of amazing treatments that will benefit your health and well-being. We review the latest gear and gadgets. My juicing and Ben Coomber's healthy recipes. And we're on the street to see what you guys know about nutrition. And my favourite part, the celebrity fitness challenge. Mm -hmm. Who's going to take it on? First of all though, let's join Sophie and her psychic Terry on the out and about section looking at different ways we can get fit and active. Today we've been roped into the climbing wall. I'm very nervous about this one. Not sure how it's going to go, but we'll we'll give it us all, won't we? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it actually because I've really wanted to try a bit of rock climbing. But fortunately, we have David here with us today to help us out. David, can anybody do rock climbing? Absolutely. We have an induction process here, just like a normal gym. So as long as you organise it beforehand, either calling up or going through our website, you just organise an induction. And you can come down and climb. Would you say it was a good challenge for? Um, building your body strength? Absolutely. Um, one of the great things about climbing is that it's a whole body workout. So it engages everything from right from your fingertips through to your toes. Um, and one of the key elements is it really works out your core quite a lot. So we'll be doing some of that today. Brilliant. OK, I'm seeing like, the walls look very interesting. In terms of the, the holes, why are they all different colours? Depending on what colour you're climbing, it basically is either harder or easier. Right. Um, so we'll obviously get you on some easy stuff to start Please with. Do. But then we'll try some of the harder stuff as well. Alright, let's get started. Let's go. Go on then. We're down on the beginner's climbing wall. Um, so David, what, what are you going to show us now? First thing we're going to try uh, is climbing up a little bit and then jumping off. Okay. Well, jumping off? <laughs> yep. Why are we jumping off? Um, so this type of climbing involves no ropes or harnesses and you've got the safety matting underneath, so you need to know what it's like and need to trust that you can jump off the wall and land safely. Do you think oh. we can jump? Uh, maybe from, from low. Yeah, you can start out low to I start with. I can jump with. from there. <laughs> Let's give it a Let's go. go. Good luck. Yeah. OK. I'm, I'm not basing it at the top, mind <laughs> You don't have to go to the top, so from there so is fine. Jump from here. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So bend your knees, sit down a little bit, make sure you're looking at where you're landing, and then just jump. It feels better when you bend your knee because you feel closer to the floor. Yeah. Okay. That's it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> After completing the beginner's wall, our confidence grew, and Terry and I were ready to take on a tougher challenge. I've just completed the orange run here, which Terry's about to do. Yep. I can understand now, David, why people get so addicted to it, because you are essentially using your brain to figure out which route you're going to take. Yeah, massively. In terms of your body and fitness, what muscles are you actually using? So obviously, we watch her now. Um, she's using the arms, hands, shoulders. There's a, a real upper body element to it. Um, but she's also using her legs quite a lot to push herself up the wall. And all of that's coordinated through the core. So all that moving in the hands and the feet, twisting through the hips, really good for you and really good for your core, but requires a lot of strength in all those areas. Areas. So it's, it's developing and improving all of those, and that was really well done. That was brilliant, Terry. Well done. So we've had a good shot at that. I think we should take it to the pros now. Hi, I'm Kauta. This is my gorgeous Elvina. Say hello. hello. <laughs> I'm a working mom, really busy. First thing I do in the morning is get up and get Elvina ready to school, drop her in the morning, go to work. And with my busy schedule, I've got to make sure I come back and pick Elvina up. And then I've got to make sure I'm going to the gym. I want to feel good about myself and look good. Four years ago, I had Elvina and I still got the baby weight around my tummy. So uh, I definitely want to get rid of it. I've been selected to do the best fit 10 week transformation. I've got a really strict program on diet and nutrition and I'll be keeping a video diary for you guys to see my progress and also will be in the gym with my PT Matt who will be guiding me with all the training, so keep up. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm Kauta's PT. When Kauta first came to me she had a very specific goal which was to drop a dress size so I've put together a 10 week program that's going to be very, very easy to stick to and hopefully very achievable at the same time as long as she's willing to put in the work. This is week one leg day, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring Kauta in and we're going to get going. 
Are you all warmed and ready to go? I am indeed, yeah. yeah. Right, let's do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a body weight squat. So what I want you to do for the body weight squat, hips shoulder width apart, chest up. You're going to break at the hips, break at the knees, down as low as you can go. Dig your heels into the floor, squeeze your feet together, and you're going to push the floor away from you, OK? Down you go. Two, three, four, and push away from you as hard as you can. That is perfect. Next one we're going to do is we're going to do a stiff leg deadlift. So with the stiff leg deadlift, what I want you to do, feet underneath the bar, just under hip width together, squeeze your feet into the floor, dig your heels in, squeeze your feet together. You're going to pick up the bar, and I want you to lock your legs in place there. So your knees aren't bending any more than that. Pull your shoulders back. You're going to run the bar down and drive your hips as far backwards as possible. That should start to stretch out your hamstrings. From there, squeeze your feet together, squeeze your bum cheeks together, lift up. Make sense? Yeah. Now from there, straighten your legs a little bit more. Now lock your knees in place. They aren't bending any more than that. Shoulders back. Now drive your hips as far backwards as you can. Imagine you're trying to put your bum into the wall. As soon as you feel it stretch, squeeze your bum cheeks together, drive up. Perfect. We're going to do a walking lunge. So a walking lunge, I want you to take one foot forward, not too far forward because I don't want to work your glutes yet. Chest up, hold the dumbbells by your side, dig your front heel into the floor and imagine you're trying to pull your back knee down towards the floor. From there, with the front heel, you're trying to push the floor away from you. Step through. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so step forward, keep your chest up. Dig your heel in as hard as you can. Very, very good. And squeeze. A little bit slow on the way down, but apart from that, that was perfect. Very good. So, that's leg day done. We've got two sessions left this week. We're going to do a push session and a pull session. From there, we're also going to tweak your diet a little bit. So, no more junk food, no more pizzas, no more sugary goodness. All right, I want you to eradicate those from your life completely. We're not going to drop your calories too much because I still want you to be able to stick to it. I still want you to have the energy to work out. I still want you to see progress but not absolutely annihilate yourself and not want to do it anymore. Ready for next week? Yeah, definitely. Boom. Five litres. Five litres, wow. Um, that's quite a lot of water to be consuming. Um, try and stick to around two litres. I've not got a clue. Glutamine is a vital amino acid. It's required by every single muscle in the body and it includes the heart. So if you are training quite hard, if you're an athlete or a bodybuilder, you should be taking glutamine. It does also help for your digestion as well. Um, I wouldn't say so, it depends again. I think it depends how seriously you want to take it and what your end goal is. And they're a great source of protein, iodine and essential vitamins. Coming up in part two, we have a very quick and easy tasty recipe from Ben Coomba. We're going to be finding out about laser eye surgery. Sophie's got a juicing recipe and a right treat for you. Taking on the first Celebrity Fitness Challenge, the West Twins. Join us then. Welcome back to Best Fit and we've got the Celebrity Fitness Challenge for you. And for the first ever one, we've got the West Twins. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Oh. Do you know what you lay yourself in for? No. Nope. <laughs> You've got a big long title here that I need to read out. You are the world's only twin female professional athletes. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely massive on social media, Instagram, etc. How did that come about? Uh, it's possibly about a year ago now when our manager approached us and then we got sponsored by MyProtein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been working with them for nearly a year. So it's gone, just gone from there really with social media. So that is your living then, yeah. uh -huh. just being fitness twins on Training social media. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so no pressure then, you're known for fitness. You're going to be the first with your names on the board. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to join Sophie outside to take on the first ever Celebrity Fitness Challenge. OK, starting off, 500 metres on the bike. Are you ready? Go! Excellent, excellent, keep it up, keep it going. We're getting up to 500 metres. Right, that's an amazing effort, girls. After the bike, we've got four tyre flips. Come on, that's it, that's it, that's it. They're both doing so well. Oh my gosh. I 
I'll keep up with this. <laughs> box jumps, onto the box, onto the box. Come on, keep it going, good box jumps. I want those knees up. Get the knees up, get the knees up, that's it. That's it, you can do it, keep it up. Don't forget, you've got 20 ropes next after the box. Right, onto the rope, onto the rope. Excellent. Keep it going. That is amazing effort, amazing effort. Well done, Lucy. Onto the slams now. 10 slams, here we go. Oh my gosh, it looks so strong. And then you're onto the sledge. Push all the way to the wall and a fair fall back. Well done, high five. Okay, well, we'll get you some water. <laughs> We're back on the sofa with the West Twins. How was that, girls? It was tough. Tougher yeah. than I thought, yeah. It was it lactic acid building up by the time it came to the box jumps. Yeah, it was hard. Was that yeah. the worst bit of the box oh, jumps? Yeah. Legs just wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. We well, seemed to breeze it. You did pretty well out there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Are you competitive? Who do you think's got the um, edge? I don't know. We're so, we're so yeah. very matched, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be close. Not sure who's doing it, it's close. Yeah. So we haven't got a clue. We know we're gonna find out right now. We're gonna pass you over to Sophie, she's gonna do the big reveal. Okay, lasses, are you ready for the yeah, big reveal? Yeah. Right, okay. Jenny, we're gonna yeah. go with you first. Yeah. You did it in two minutes and fourteen. Okay, yeah, that's good. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of that? I think it's an all right time, it's okay. I was really two minutes. It was those two minutes, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> that is cracking, that, honestly. <laughs> very you. respectable. You. Right. Lucy, you did it in... Oh, two minutes and ten! No! <laughs> so, well done, Lucy. Thank you have no. beat your <laughs> twin sister. Me. I know, yeah, she I always beats Well me. done. I think those times were brilliant. I think you did uh, very, you. very well. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Join us next time where we will be joined by Laura Carter from Big Brother. Hi, I'm Ben Coomber and welcome to the recipe part of this show where each week we are going to cook super simple, very healthy recipes that you can cook in 15 to 30 minutes at home. And today is probably going to be even less than 15 minutes with an old school classic. Now tell me, when was the last time you cooked eggy bread? Doesn't matter for all adults, let's get stuck in with this simple recipe. All you need is eggs, bread, banana, and we're away. So let's get cooking. Here I've got some granary bread. This is gonna go straight into the egg. Just give it a second to soak up the juices, put it in both sides, and then we're gonna make hopefully a fairly clean transfer into the pan. There we go. And we'll do that with the second piece. And all we're gonna do is let that cook until it's kind of brown, flip it over, and then we will come back to it when it's nice and cooked, and we will garnish it and make it look beautiful. Now the eggy bread is done, let's plate up. I love an easy plate up and it doesn't get any easier than that. There's the eggy bread. On top is gonna go our banana. Now banana is a fruit and fruits and vegetables should be at all of our meals for optimum health and performance. Now you can spice this up loads of different ways. You could use different fruit, you could put honey on top, you can mix whey protein into the eggs, you can flavor it lots of different ways. Tune in next week for more simple, healthy recipes that you can cook in no time at home. Always high protein, always really easy to manipulate the kind of calories and what you might need for your diet, and always looking to optimize health and performance. Do you wear glasses or contact lenses, and do they get in the way of your active lifestyle? And with Heather, who's decided to have laser eye surgery because she's so active and wants to do away with the glasses. So tell us a bit more about your lifestyle. I'm a long distance open water swimmer. I am amateur triathlete, horse rider, and mum of two young children. Busy? Very yeah. busy. I've been wanting to get my eyes lasered for about 15 years. Um, just never got round to it. So I've worn glasses and contacts for a long time. 
um, and just can't wait to um, have the benefits of being able to see my children at night time if I need yeah, to when we wake house. up in the morning yeah. um, and obviously with all my outdoor activities be able to swim and not worry about my contacts falling out same with all the sports that I do. Uh, I just can't wait to see what it's like. Wow, so you thought about it for 15 years, that's mm. quite a while. Well, yeah. let's hope this is going to change your life round. You've had your initial consultation, I believe. Yeah. Let's go meet the consultant, have a refresh, and uh, see what laser eye surgery is all about. Okay. Let's go. So, hello, Heather. It's Hi. good to see you again. You're suitable for the LASIK laser eye surgery. I've checked all your notes. How are you feeling about today? I am so, so excited, uh, but a bit nervous as well. Do you have any questions? Yes. How painful is it? It's not going to be painful. Uh, you've got to a little bit of pressure on your eyes. Afterwards, your eyes will water a bit. You'll be a bit sensitive to light. But straight afterwards, you should be able to see much better. Really? By tomorrow, you should be driving. Goodness. Yes. And you should be able to get back to your running within about a week. Excellent. And you should be able to get back to your swimming within about four weeks. That's hardly going to affect my training at all. When we go through to the treatment room, you're going to lie down under a laser bed. I'll be sitting at your head. There'll be various lights I'll ask you to look at. It should take about 10 minutes. When you get up, you should be seeing much better. Not perfectly, but much better. And okay. it recovers quickly after that. Fantastic. Can't wait. So shall we go through then? Yeah, let's go. All right. Wow, you're back already. That was super quick. How are you feeling? Absolutely amazing. I can't believe how quick that was and it didn't hurt at all. It was an amazing experience. I can see you. I'm not wearing yeah. my glasses or contacts and I can tell the time on the wall as well. That's, That's amazing. amazing. So quick. Yeah. yeah. So no more glasses. I want you to do me a massive favour. Can you get back in touch with us in a couple of weeks time and let us know how you get on? Yeah, definitely. Hi guys, it's four weeks since my LASIK eye surgery and I still cannot get over how amazing it is. I can see my children's faces when they run in in the mornings. I'm not having to root around for my glasses. It's amazing when I'm out running and swimming, the things I can see now are absolutely amazing. Um, it's the best thing I have ever done and no regrets. Wow, it's actually mind blowing what they can do these days. It is, Heather's had a great recovery and it's good to see that, but right now, unfortunately, nearly the end of the show, but you've got a juicing recipe. What have you got for us? I do. This is called The Banger. Why is it called The Banger? <laughs> it's because my friend Victoria gave it to me and she's got banging skin. Right then, so what have you got? Lemon, lime. Cucumber, apple, carrot and spinach. Well, leaving it up to its name then, bang it all in the juicer. Okay. And let's see what this is going to taste like. All right, let's go. Yeah. While Sophie's doing that, I'll tell you what we've got coming up next week in the Jam Pat Show. We have got the transformation journey following Cow to see how she's getting on. We're going to go trampolining to see if that really does burn off as many calories. We're also going to be having a look at what cryotherapy is. I've got carrots well, stuck in it. I can't wait longer. Well, you can do a juice in that quick. I'm thirsty, look. Good things come to those who wait, Faris. Yeah. yeah, you can hear it there. We've got movement. It's we've got going. Movement now. Shove it all in. Spinach. Bang it all in. That's it. Can we have a taste then? Yeah. Right then. And we're ready. Yeah. Yes, please. My what? goodness. Right then. Are you ready? <laughs> Me first. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the lemon, but it is actually quite nice. I know it's doing good for me. Have a try that. For this recipe, for all the stuff you've seen today, you can check it all out on the website, bestfitmagazine.co.uk, follow us on socials, or grab a magazine in your local gym. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. See you then. Is it good? Mm. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs>